Member for Langley East. Uh, thank you, Honourable Speaker. It was uh, an honour to travel to Paris, France last week to be part of a panel at the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development Summit on Inspiration, Innovation and Inclusion, Shaping Our Future with the Social and Solidarity Economy, where the OECD Policy Guide on Legal Frameworks for the Social Economy was released. It was a privilege to be able to share the work that our government has been doing and to grow our province's uh, social economy and to learn about what other countries are doing in this area. British Columbia is a leader in this area and I am so fortunate to serve as BC's Parliamentary Secretary for Community Development and Nonprofits to advocate for nonprofits within the provincial government and for the important work that they do for British Columbians, as well as to look for opportunities to improve their partnership with government and to support better outcomes for people in our province. Uh, just have to get to the right page here. Uh, in British Columbia, the nonprofit, charitable, and cooperative sectors deliver critical services to thousands of people every day and play a critical role in the province. For example, they meet essential needs around housing, mental health, food security, legal services, and domestic violence. They create vibrant spaces through arts and culture, and they strengthen communities and encourage social inclusion through social groups, community recreation, and sports, faith groups, and immigration services, as well as support communities through crises such as pandemic and the uh, climate events experienced by British Columbia in the recent years, including a major heat dome, wildfires, and catastrophic floods. Uh, thank you to the OECD for providing the opportunity to participate in this important conversation. And thank you to all of the nonprofits for the difference that you make in the lives of British Columbia. Without your dedication, support, the volunteers uh, who work hard each day, British Columbia wouldn't be as robust as it is and have such a diverse landscape of organizations that are there to help often the most vulnerable British Columbians. Thank you.